The last member of the band is... After three months of competition, the moment her dream came true. Sarah. But Sarah Harding could scarcely have imagined the success that would follow. Every one of their first 16 singles, a top 10 hit. Thanks to a collection of irresistibly catchy songs, they were soon selling thousands of singles and performing to sold out audiences. Sarah brought powerful vocals and a willingness to be portrayed as the band's most outrageous personality, the headline-grabbing party girl. We're off to the club. Eventually, it all led to a short stint in rehab. Outside of the group, she, like the others, took time to try new challenges. Now you're focused more, uh, not so much on the music, as the acting, it seems to me. Would that be a fair thing to say? It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we've all chosen different avenues, and I'm not completely saying I don't want to sing anymore, but the acting is something that I've always wanted to pursue since I was little as well. There were small parts in BBC financial crash drama Freefall. Oh, my God! Coronation Street. Actually, I don't suppose by any chance, you know, a Tracy Barlow? And the second of the new St Trinian's movies. None of it, though, overshadowed her success with the all-conquering Girls Aloud. When many were writing off pop in favour of different styles of music, they were the group who proved it could still be fresh and invigorating. Sarah and the other four members went their separate ways in 2013. But not before they'd entertained fans for the best part of a decade. Their success, the result of undeniable talent and a closeness that all could see, was genuine, true friendship. Sarah Harding, a woman who achieved so much in a life cut short at such a young age. Sarah Harding, who's died today at the age of 39.